Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a nice little trick on how to reveal the text, uh, the title of your video with motion tracking in Premiere Pro. So I shot this video recently and this is sort of a promotion video for Philip who is pursuing a career as golf professional. And in this scene, he just walks from left to right across the screen like this. And I had this idea before I even shot this scene that he was going to do a sort of a reveal of the title of the video. So if we look at the final result, it's looking like this. There we go. And for this scene, I had the camera mounted on a tripod and he just walked from left to right. Very simple. So I'll just add a title here. My cool title. And then we can center this on the screen like that. And then I'll just go forward and look for the frame where, where the title is revealed for the first time and that would be this frame okay and then I'll just grab my pen tool right here and create a mask something like this there we go we can adjust the feather to maybe 10 15 something like this that's gonna look good and then if you click the clip in the timeline and use your right arrow key, you can step forward one frame at a time. And then I'll just adjust the anchor points. No, sorry, I forgot one thing. We have to click this button right here, mask path. And then we can click the clip in the timeline and move forward. Then if I just select the mask here, I can move the anchor points to wherever I want them like this. And you can see that here it creates automatically a new keyframe. So I'm going to do a quick and dirty version here and just move the anchor points once again. Add another one like this maybe. There we go. Click the clip in the timeline again, move forward three or four frames, maybe. And then you just uh, do these adjustments and move forward in the timeline. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. And there we go, the masking is done. And when I play this back in real time, it looks like this. So there you have the reveal of the title. And in the beginning here, I need to add some more keyframes to cover this. Just move these anchor points back like this. And there we go. And now that the tracking is done, we can change the title here to whatever we want. My video title. Just center this. You can see that the mask is still behaving the same way. So it's, uh, I mean, you can change the title to whatever you want. And if you shoot this on a wide open aperture like f 2.0, 1, 1.4 or something like that, you get a blurry background and then the text would pop even more. So that's uh, that could also be a nice touch to add as well. And if we take a look at the title that I'm going to use for this video, in this mask I used a lot more keyframes and uh, I did a much more thorough job with tracking 
Philip as he walks across the screen. And then of course the result is a bit better, but I mean, this is not bad either. So you could easily use something like this as well and just do it in two minutes or something. So that's it, super easy motion tracking in Premiere Pro. And I think this is a nice little touch. It sort of adds something more than just having a plain old like flat text or whatever. So I hope you like this video and find it useful. If you do, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.